His supporters believe this is the sound of hope. London's new mayor grew up on a council estate, the son of a Pakistani bus driver. I never imagined that in my lifetime I could have a mayor of London from an ethnic minority background. And he vowed to bring all Londoners together. My name is Sadiq Khan and I'm the mayor of London. His very public signing-in ceremony included invitees from all backgrounds, even a high-profile supporter from Middle Earth. Much has been made of Sadiq Khan's faith. He becomes the first Muslim mayor of an EU capital. Mr Khan's supporters say the Conservative campaign deliberately used his background to paint him as an extremist. I think he beat a pretty nasty and negative campaign and I think it sent a message around the world about the kind of city London is. Throughout my campaign I've been positive. What are the real challenges facing Londoners? And I was hoping during the campaign they'd want to talk about these issues but my opponents were talking about things that I think have been negative, have been desperate and have been divisive. Now senior Tories are condemning the tactics used. Ken Clark called it a mistake. Baroness Valsi labelled it dog whistle politics. Even the Conservative candidate's sister calls it sad. But this morning, Zach Goldsmith himself refused to comment. Any comments for us about the defeat? Did you run too negative a campaign, Mr Goldsmith? Mr Goldsmith's campaign was led by Tory election guru Linton Crosby's firm. But various members of the cabinet and even the prime minister joined in with the chorus of attacks against Mr Khan. Today, one of them showed little remorse. You describe the man who has now been elected as mayor of London as unfit to protect Londoners. Do you still maintain that stance? He's been elected now and we, have, we accept that and we congratulate him on it and we look forward to working with him. Do you now regret that choice of language? No, during an election for one of the biggest offices in the country, it's quite right that candidates are exposed to scrutiny and questioning. At the South London Council estate where Sadiq Khan grew up, many are excited about the win, not interested in nasty politics. It means a lot to us because we can go through his steps and maybe be a mayor like him in future. He's a very nice person and he, he has tried hard. He's come from where we come from. So he knows the, the, the struggles that we're already going through. So in the position that he's in, he could actually make a difference. I don't see no other extremists around here than maybe conservative. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the Khan celebrations, one man was notably absent, the Labour Party leader. Are you disappointed Jeremy Corbyn's not here? Well, there are lots and lots of people here. I'm not sure if there's capacity for more people, but you know, I'm sure I'll be seeing Jeremy over the next few days. Mr Corbyn did pop up in Bristol, alongside the city's new mayor, Labour's Marvin Rees, hailing what he called the party's massive victories.